do the strapping. And I do this. So the first adjustment is forward or back. So if you need to uh, move somebody's pelvis further forward in the seat, you can do that. Um, somebody further forward is going to be? Uh, maybe somebody with a scoliosis. You might need to support that lower lumbar again. Um, so that's going to be the, the main adjustment there. And then you'd have to flip the chair to do the underside. And it's just a series of uh, Velcro tabs. And then you can pull them away from the cushion and sag them out. And for the mo most part, people will probably leave the tension on the bear alone, right? Because most of the yeah. most part, you want it as tense as uh, yeah, in most cases you want it as tense as possible, but if you need to increase the level of dump by, say, half an inch or an inch, you can kind of do that with the upholstery. Um, so yeah, you can, uh, you can add just that little bit extra bucket or comfort for somebody, especially if they have like a custom molded cushion or something like that. Right. Sometimes they need to and we have the upholstery sagged out a bit. Okay. Great. That's it for the upholstery. Uh, you can shorten this so you can make it closer to their waist. Now the D-ring goes much tighter. So it would be much closer rather than move the D-ring. Then you get much more room. Okay. 